instead of deleting your program, you should comment. Instead of deleting commands from your program, you should comment them out. But of course, the problem is if you have too many commands, you need too many comments. So we use a multi-line comment, a slash star, and star slash. Anything in between that is a comment. So that's a multi-line comment. So when I run this program, only the center point has been shown. All the other lines have been hidden. We'll come next to a shape called ellipse. Ellipse is a general form of circle, so it can ha it is an oval which which is which is centered around the first two coordinates. So it's centered around the point given by width by two, height by two, and you can specify a sp uh, given width and a given height for that ellipse. So this ellipse is centered at the center of the window, has width 120 and height 80. That's it. So that's, uh, please note that, that our stroke weight was 5, so that's why the brush size is 5. The default fill value for all the shapes is white. You can change the color which fills the shapes using fill and the color of the brush using stroke. So please note stroke is for color while stroke weight is for the size. You fill, you can fill a color using three methods. The first one is grayscale. 0 means black, 255 means white, anything in between means a grayscale value. So if I say 150, it's towards the Y, but it's almost halfway through. So it's grayscale. But if I change fill to 0, it's black. Similarly, I can specify the stroke. To be 255 so it's white fill sorry white stroke and black fill now just like you fill colors when you define the size you can specify the background as well so you can say that the background is black it's so a black background black fill and white stroke now so that's grayscale value but you can fill with red, green, blue component. Again, each component is 0 to 255. So 255, 0, 0 means complete red. 0, 255, 0 will mean complete green. 0, 0, 255 will mean complete blue. You can also have a combination of colors, 240, 240, 80. And stroke is, let's say, 0. Or let's say stroke is red. So it's a red bordered ochre yellow colored ellipse. Of course I don't expect you to remember all the color combinations which brings me to the third way. The third way of setting up colors is using hexadecimal E D C F 3 8 let's say. So that's a very similar color, ochre yellow. You don't ex you don't have to remember all these color combinations. So what you can do is, when you fit, write a command for fill or stroke, go to Tools at the top, Color Selector, choose your color, and you'll see either RGB, so you can fill these values, 173, 255, 231, or there's a hexadecimal value, hash, ADFFE7. Copy that and paste it. That's it. Really, really simple. Next command. Let's reset the size again. Next command is a rectangle. We'll create a rectangle 
at 10 comma 10 having a width of 50 and a height of 100. Please note that unlike an ellipse which is centered at this point, the rectangle is not centered at 10 comma 10. The rectangle has this point as it as its top left coordinate. So this rectangle starts from 10 comma 10 like this. It starts from 10 comma 10. It has width 50 and height 80. Sorry, height 100. So that's the difference between rectangle and ellipse. The third command is triangle. So a triangle is quite simple. You can specify two points, 200, 200, sorry, three points, 200, 200, um, 300, 300, and 100, 300. So it's a triangle which has these three points as its corner points, 200, 200, 300, 300, and 100, 300. You will know that all of these shapes have the same fill and same border, but you can change that by overriding values. So for the ellipse, you wanted those two fill and border. Now let's say I want to change only the border for the rectangle. So you just redefine the stroke and say, look, I want stroke to be zero. So now the color of the border becomes zero. You can also say that, the, that I want the stroke to be blue. So the stroke becomes blue for all the shapes after that command. So the rectangle and the triangle have blue strokes. After the rectangle, you can change the fill, let's say, and change it to ochre yellow. So now the triangle has a changed fill color. So you can keep changing colors for the fill and border for all subsequent shapes. You can also, as I said, the ellipse is by default centered around this point. You can change this mode by saying ellipse mode to corner. Please note ellipse mode with a capital M. What this does is it says that the first Two values or the point indicated by the first two values is not the center of the ellipse it's the top left corner of the bounding box for the ellipse I'll explain what a bounding box means now that's your ellipse I'll also comment out triangle to make things a little bit easier for us to see now that's your ellipse Imagine a rectangle around this ellipse. Imagine a rectangle around this ellipse. That's the bounding box of the ellipse. And the corner of that rectangle is here. And that's the point we are saying should be width by 2, height by 2. So it creates an ellipse with that corner, width of 120, height of 80. And that's all about shapes. You can save a program by pressing com Command S in Mac or Control S in Windows. And the way you should save your programs is give them a logical name. So Processing Tutorial 1 underscore Layout and Shapes and colors. Underscore is a C style. You can also use layout, shapes, colors as a notation. So what I'm doing is each word, it starts with a small letter. Each subsequent word starts with a capital letter unless it's a number so that it's easy to separate words. So you save this. When you take a look at the code, it will have your program in a folder containing the same file name .pde, 
processing development environment. You cannot change the file name that's inside your folder because processing expects a given file to be in a folder which has the same name. Please do not continue like this because what it will do is it will create a subfolder and put your file inside that. So you can see how that can be a problem. So I'll move it back, delete the folder and rename the file again. And now it's good. So that's it for the first tutorial. I hope you guys benefited from this and hope to see you for the second tutorial.